Alright guys, so this is the second part to my part 3 video on my XBMC guide. Um, I couldn't fit it all into one video, so I had to make two separate videos for part 3. So let's get into it. Alright, so just before we go into Ember, if we carry on any further, um, I'll just quickly show you this. This is sort of like where my movies are saved. Now, you can see that they're in their own folders and Ember is going to do that automatically for us. All you need is your movie files. You can see here for an example I've got 17 again, the video file. Now if you have a collection, a whole lot of video files, the only thing you really need to do is name it correctly. Don't have 17 again, DVD, RIP, blah blah blah. As long as it has the proper name, we're going to put it in its own files automatically through Ember and then Ember's going to scrape and get all the um, posters and fan art that we want. And for an example, you can see here Zombieland. All this stuff is what Ember scrapes, except for the trailer. Um, and I think you can even have Ember doing that for the trailer too, but I prefer 720p trailers um, and the automated stuff isn't as clear. So that's all we need. You just need a folder with all your movies and just make sure the movie file is correctly named. Now let's move on to Ember. And we'll click Next. Now we want to add source, we want to add where our movies are from, you can see up here. So add source, give it a name, and look for your movies, which mine is on external hard drive. And add that folder. Now scan reclusively, click OK, then click next. Don't worry about any of that, it's all pretty good. Click next again. Now this is adding TV shows, so you just want to give it a name. Do the same thing. If you have TV shows, alright, click OK, click next, and this is also OK. What it's going to do, Imp is going to open up you should get the same looking thing as this now you can see down here on the bottom left it's adding my movies um, depending on how many movies you've got it might take a little while and here's TV shows once you click on that it's also going to add all your TV shows so all my movies should pop up and all my TV shows should pop up okay so the first thing you want to do if you don't have your movies in their own separate folders um, you're going to have to click up here on edit select settings under movies select files and sources and sort files into folders before each library update you want to make sure that's on click apply and then click OK now after that update your library by selecting this and what that's going to do is going to turn all your me media files, all your movies it's going to put them in their own folder named the exactly the same name as the movie file. So then update your library. It's going to organize all that media into folders and we're ready to move on to the next step. Now one other thing that you can do that I'm not going to show you how to do because I don't do it myself. I'm not too sure if, if it even works right now. Um, is scrapers, images and trailers. Now you can try it by selecting enable trailer support and then whatever one of these you want to select and the preferred quality and apply that and see if that will search trailers for you um, I've had no such luck with it so I'm not going to bother I will show you somewhere else that you can get some really nice trailers from and it's almost just as easy so the next thing here is you, you won't have all these ticks and you also won't have any of these backdrops and that's because your media needs to be scanned so how you do that is by selecting scrape media all movies and then all items and that's not going to do the best scrape but it's going to give us a good base um, it's going to go online for each of your movies and try and get a poster and a backdrop but it basically does a quick version of it so it doesn't do a hundred percent good job now things that you need for these ticks are poster so this is the poster here you can see that it's gone online and it's found that poster and that's why I have a tick for it the next thing is fan art so I have a tick for that as well so I have this background here 
Um, I also have a tip for trailer, which is something that I added personally, and I'll show you guys how to do later. I don't have subtitles, just because I don't bother with subtitles. There's some movies that are in different language that I will have subtitles. Other than that, I don't bother with subtitles. There is also a plugin, so I'm not going to show you the subtitles thing, because the new release of Xbox Media Center will probably have that added in the add-on section, and that basically organizes our subtitles for us, goes online and scrapes subtitles, so you don't need your own copy of any sort of subtitles, it's going to go online for you. Now, the final box here is Extra Thumbs, and only some skins use the Extra Thumbs feature. Um, you really want four Extra Thumbs, they're images of the movie, so to do that, and the reason why we need that is because the skin that we're using uses that option. So let's use Ghostbusters for an example. You can see I've got no ticks on it. Um, so the thing I want to do is rescrape movie and click OK. And it's come up with different covers that I can choose from. So let's just say I want this Ghostbusters one here. Select OK on the one that you want. Now it's searching for the fan art. Okay, so the fan out's popped up. Now, this is where we sometimes get some of our extra thumbs from. But you can see here, none of these are really scenes from the movie, except for the bottom scene. So what you want to do is, let's say I want this image as my backdrop, my poster that is in the background. So I'm going to select it by clicking on the image, and the screen goes blue. And that's me telling it that I want that as my backdrop, but I don't want it as an extra thumb. Now, some movies are going to pop up with hundreds of photos, and you want to select the ones that you want as your extra thumbs, remembering that you want four extra thumbs. And by doing that, you need to select the tick, and that's going to know that I want that as an extra thumb, and not as my main backdrop. So, for this, I only want one of these pictures, so I'm only going to click the one. If you can get four, that's really good, but if you can't get four, then what we need to do is click into here, um, click transfer now, it's going to transfer that extra thumb that I clicked onto. You can see the fan art that I selected is, in, is under fa fan art. Um, so I only have one, but I need four. So what we need to do is click on frame extraction and auto generate and select a number like eight. Select auto gen and it's going to take snapshots of random places throughout the movie. This will disappear. Okay, it's finished now, so click on extra thumbs and click transfer now. And you can see here all eight pictures have transferred. Now, sometimes this can spoil a movie by showing you the ending. It's sometimes a bit of a spoiler. Um, so what we need is four images. So these, the rest of these don't matter. But if there's an image that you don't like, you could select it by pushing delete or you can just simply move it down, you can move any up that you'd like and move them about so you've got four that you like now select OK you'll see here everything will be ticked um, except for the trailer and the subtitles but I have a movie cover I have the information up here about the movie I have the backdrop and I also have the extra thumbs what you need to do, it's going to take a while, is go through and do that for each and every single one of your movies. Scrape, you know, you want all your ticks. Everything ticked except for the trailers, which I'll show you in the next video, and the subtitles. So go through and do that, and that's before we start adding our movies to XBMC. So thanks for watching part 3. Um, in part 4, I'll show you what I just said about the trailers, and we'll also cover adding all this stuff into Xbox Media Center. It's pretty self-explanatory about the TV shows. You just do the same thing. Right-click on it and rescrape TV show and select all the images that you want. You don't need extra thumbs, so don't worry about that. Um, yeah, so sort out your TV shows, sort out your movies, and move on to part four.